Hello tarot people and hello to you Cancer, we're going to do a three card tarot reading now for the sign of Cancer. I'm doing this early May 2020 but the best time to watch it is right now. I'm using the good old fashioned Rider Waite deck but it is kind of an interesting Turkish version of it that someone gave me. So uh, let's see where we're going for Cancer at this moment. I've got a feeling love might be in the air. That's the way these readings have been all this uh, all this session. So I turn over the top card and it is the Ace of Wands. There it is. So something being offered from the clouds. But always those clouds represent your own higher self. So this is something that's already in you, Cancer, and around you. Now, when we get a wand like this, this is an opportunity to make something happen. And there's a lot of alchemy and a lot of the esoteric in this card. Anything to do with esotericness, and actually I would say anything to do with alchemy as well, is about taking an idea which just happens in your own mind and which, uh, you know, could have come from anywhere, really, uh, but something that appeals to you, something you want to do, and uh, you actually make it a real thing, you actually make it happen. Um, for example, just choosing this backdrop was an esoteric thing, and uh, people seem to like it, so I've run with it. But, you know, it's like, what colour do you paint your house? It sort of doesn't matter, really, as long as you're happy with it, and as long as it's, it's something you want. And it will have started with an idea in your own mind, well, this is something rather more serious and rather more forward thrusting and a moving, kind of a moving thing with legs, an idea with legs that's going to happen. OK, we're already in a position where it's going to happen, Cancer, when we get this card. So things are going to change. Um, looking at this card, I see there's a lot of kind of countryside in the background and there's a great mountain. Is that a mountain or? A... No, it's actually a castle. A castle on top of a hill, that's what it is. But it looks different in the uh, in the screen there. So there's something to think about, actually. It all depends how we look at these things, does it not? Is that a mountain you've got to overcome? Or is it a castle you're going to go and live in? Or is it a castle you've moved away from? Are you actually breaking the bounds? Well, you're breaking the connection with something and moving forward to something better. No doubt at all when we get the Ace of Wands. So very, very powerful starting card there. And uh, that shows things really moving forward. Now, I do have a strong feeling about relationships around this reading. In fact, around all these uh, readings in this session that I'm doing at the moment, Cancer. So there's something to, uh, to think about. Is there somebody you're really kind of interested in? Or is someone really kind of interested in you or very interested in you? What are you going to do about it? That's the question. If the idea appeals to you, Cancer... Don't sit on your laurels and don't just kind of rest and end up not doing anything about it because good ideas have a shelf life. It's a fact. And uh, if you want to get something done, the thing to do is at least make a start and be mindful of uh, c coming to completion with it as well. Because as we move through the reading, I'm sure we will see where we're going with this. And... Um, we don't always end up where we planned to end up, but we always end up further forward. That's the thing, because life is change and things are all about moving on. So the Ace of Wands there, starting us off in a very positive, very alchemical and quite powerful sort of a way there, I would say. Uh, there is water indicated in that card in quite a small way. Let's just show that again. It's, it's right down the bottom here. There's this kind of stream. Uh, that shows something is kind of cleansing. And more importantly, something is moving. And uh, anything to do with water in anything magical and mystical has to do not only with cleansing, but it just kind of shows sacredness, you know. Uh, the very first belief systems that people had on this earth were about water, were something to do with water. Um, here in the uh, UK, we've got Stonehenge uh, down towards sort of Glastonbury and in Wiltshire there, which is a very magical place. And uh, it's been shown that there was actually a river running very close to Stonehenge at the time it was built, some kind of over 5,000 years ago, I should think. And uh, it was a very important monument and a very important kind of fundamental focus for people's spiritual beliefs back in the day. OK, so that water there is a really powerful image. So I'm shuffling away here and let's turn over another card and see what is card number two. And it's the Page of Swords, right? We've moved from Wands to Swords. Now, this is something because the Wands say the magic is there, things are going to happen. The Swords are about kind of making it right for things to happen and actually getting things done as well because you can cut through all the 
crap, shall we say, with a sword. And it looks like that's what the Page of Wands has done here. The Page, and the page of Swords has done here, I should say. Now, the Page energies are always kind of youthful. Now, that could be that it's a younger person than you who's coming in in terms of love, in terms of romance, in terms of being a help along the way to make your idea a positive reality. Could be a young person, or this could be showing the youthful side of you, the side of you that's kind of going into new ground, um, making new decisions, thinking about things you've never really had to think about before and uh, so there's some inexperience here okay but uh, no matter because this is the middle card this is the heart of the matter and this would not come up like this if it wasn't taking you somewhere so I'll say it again as we uh, said with the uh, the ace of wands at the beginning this idea has got legs this is actually going to happen so we've got the page of swords kind of swishing through the air no one's going to want to get in the way of this character okay the danger here is of going off what you might call half cocked kind of not quite in line with uh, your own ideas your own beliefs and uh, what you actually personally want to achieve so at this point think there's going to be an outcome what do you want that outcome to be and be as positive as you can about that outcome because it is all very positive energy in this card uh, the swords really do get things done in the end that's the main meaning of the wands really but it's the swords that make it happen because the swords are about the decision you make what you actually want to make happen and we can see the birds flying away up here right up at the top of the cards flying away far in the sky <clears throat> Are these new ideas which are kind of flowing away from you because you want to kind of consolidate and get to one main idea? Or are there the old ideas flying away? Doesn't really matter because both those things are happening. Okay, now there are clouds in the sky here, so not everything is clear. And that's a fact of life, just about whatever we do. Nothing is quite clear and certainly the outcome isn't quite clear at the moment. But uh, very positive, very forward thrusting reading this so far. So uh, let's move on and find out what is card number three, what is actually indicated here in terms of an outcome. Where is it all going? That's a question you'll be asking yourselves for quite a while to come, I should think, Cancer. But uh, the energy is there for things to move forward, it really is. Okay, so let's, oop, I've dropped them. Let's pick one up. Okay, and here we go. The outcome card, as it were, is the Queen of Swords. Now then, she is a very experienced character. Uh, she has an ability to react to things very quickly and uh, we shouldn't be too cynical about, you know, how she reacted too quickly without thinking about things because this is experience. And she represents you, Cancer, and your experience of life, what you've gathered around you already in terms of what you've been through, what you know, what you understand. And so she's saying that as you move towards the outcome, don't be afraid to question yourself and whatever you do, don't be afraid to question the other people around you in this scenario. And uh, if this is a love relationship, this is a really important one, okay, because... Um, Sometimes we just want to be with someone. Sometimes we're just so fed up with being on our own. We want to make something happen. And it's very easy then to end up with someone who doesn't really float our boats in the long term. Might float our boat to begin with. Might seem a great idea. But you know that expression, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Make sure this is a good idea going forward, Cancer. That's the important thing to do. And you do have the experience to do it. Uh, the Queen of Swords really does have a lot of knowledge of life. And again, being a sword card, it's making decisions and it's also getting things done. And those do go together. It's really an important thing. We've got a bird up in the sky here. Now then, in the Page of Swords, we saw many birds flying away and leaving Hopefully behind us, just the one good idea, the thing that matters. So what really matters to you, Cancer? That's the thing to think about going forward. It's an outcome card, but you need to be like this at the moment. All these three cards have something to say to you at the moment. So where's it going? That's the question. Don't be too cynical. Whatever you do, it's a great shame to give up on something just because you think it probably isn't going to work. See if it's going to work. Actually kind of, you know... Get stuck in and find out what's happening because that is the one downside of the Queen of Swords. Uh, she has experience. She's almost certainly, she's kind of 99% going to be right. And so your intuition is 99% going to be right. But think of that other 1%. How could things go? How could things change? 
So let's look at these three cards together then, because they come together, they mean something together. Lovely sun pattern on the background. Okay, so first of all, let's pan them out there. First of all, we've got the Ace of Wands. Okay, now this is really an important card because this is kind of where you are now. This is, in fact, it could even be called the recent past, but it's where you are in your mind now because of what's been happening recently. You've got the idea. You've maybe got the person interested. You've maybe got your own interest in the person and you've shown it. Uh, so whatever you do, it's good to be decisive at this time. Okay, that's the real way to make things happen. And the wand energy is about making things happen. Then the page of swords there. Again, making things happen in no uncertain terms, but decisions to make. And it's important to kind of cut off the cut, cut, cut through all the crap, you know. Really blow the cobwebs off your idea and really kind of concentrate on where you're going. I wouldn't think about it too much, okay? We're always uh, carried in more or less the right direction by our instincts and by our vibes. So I'm not going to say stop and think too much here, but there are decisions to make and that is going to take thought. It's going to take careful thought. Just don't get bogged down in it, whatever you do, because there's a youthful energy about the page. Uh, the, the general feeling of the page of swords is that it, it would be easy to kind of get too, too stuck into kind of thinking and things you've been taught by other people when what you really want to do is bring out your own maturity and go forward with that and here we have your own maturity okay the queen of swords again she's cutting through it in fact i would say she's already cut through it really because she knows what she's doing she is in this magical throne which has symbols of fertility all over it okay so this is something again i'll say it with legs this is something that's going to happen this is something that's going to carry you forward so it looks exciting maybe this isn't a relationship reading for you but i'm sure it has just as much meaning in any case but if that that's a relationship reading and uh, that's kind of the feeling I really get is about what it's telling you cancer is uh, just don't be put off by anything think about things you know but don't get bogged down in being too analytical because things are on the way things are going to happen things are on the move that's what it's all about that's what the tarot is all about that's what my readings are all about if you would like a private reading email me I've put the link down below the video it's 35and83 at gmail.com Com. That is 35and83 at gmail.com. I am Andy. Um, or alternatively, follow me on the Twig Brother Facebook page and uh, you can message me for a reading through that. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, that would be a fantastic thing, actually. Help me just kind of spruce things up and uh, help me go on my journey a bit. And uh, the way to do that would be through paypal.me forward slash twig brother. That's paypal.me forward slash twig brother. Anyway, more than any of that, stay tuned. Give me a subscribe. Look through the videos on my channel. There's like oh, well over 650 readings on there. Must be getting towards 700 by now. If you're drawn to a reading, it's for you. So subscribe to my channel. Tap the bell so you don't miss anything. Check out those readings. Leave me a comment, guys. We'll share the journey. Don't forget to like, and I'll see you again very soon. Peace.